constraint equation is defined to be an algebraic equation. The constraints impose relationships among the generalized coordinates. There are two types of the constraint equations. One type is the kinematic constraints coming from the geometric conditions of a joint connecting two bodies. The other type is the driving or motion constraint coming from imposing a time-dependent condition on a specific generalized coordinate. They are denoted by superscript K and D. Combining these two constraints gives the following constraint equations. Joint library. A multibody program has a set of joint library. The joint library include evolute joint, translational joint, Campbell joint, and many more. Revolute joint, position level constraint. Let us take a look at a revolute joint as an example. I'll show you how we can formulate the revolute joint for the corresponding algebraic constraint equation. A revolute joint allows relative rotation about point P that is common to bodies 1 and 2, as shown in this figure. Since point P must be coincide, the vector additions to locate point P must be equal. Therefore, the constraint equation becomes like this. Revolute joint, velocity level constraint. The generalized coordinates are substituted into the constraint equation to obtain the following equations. Taking the time derivative of the constraints is the following velocity level constraint equation. Here, the partial derivative of the orientation matrix A with respect to the angle theta is obtained as in this equation. Revolute joint, acceleration level constraint. Taking the second time derivatives of the constraints is the following acceleration level constraints. Gamma in this equation is a term containing velocities. A POVA mechanism. Let us consider an example model consisting of three bodies and four revolute joints. There are nine generalized coordinates, three from each body. There are eight constraints, two from each revolute joint. As a result, the system has nine minus eight equal to one degrees of freedom. Constraint for the POVA mechanism. The constraint equation for the POVA mechanism can be developed by applying the standard constraint of a revolute joint as follows. In addition to the kinematic constraint from the revolute joints, a driving constraint is added to impose a time-dependent condition on the revolute joints.